Renowned for delivering the very most when it comes to value for money, Soundcore are back again with yet another portable Bluetooth speaker, the Motion 300. And with a price tag of just $79 or £89 in the UK, this one looks set to give the best in class a serious run for their money. Now, shout out to the team at Soundcore for sending this one over to us. But like always, guys, our thoughts in this review are 100% our own. And we've really put this one through its paces to help decide if it's right for you. Hey guys, Louis from Smart Home Sounds here. And as you might already know, Soundcore has made a little bit of a name for themselves when it comes to offering big bang for your buck. So when we found out that they were delivering a compact speaker jam-packed with 30 watts of wireless high-res stereo performance, adaptive EQ technology, 13 hours of battery life, and so much more, all for under hundred pounds, we knew that we just had to take a look. Now let's not beat around the bush. If you're anything like me, I know that you're instantly thinking that this one looks a lot like this. The Bose Soundlink Flex, which has rightly earned its place as one of our top portable speaker picks over the years. And don't worry, I will be putting these two head to head in a little bit to see if this Motion 300 can deliver at a much more affordable price point. Now, historically, while Soundcore do offer great value for money performance, their build quality, whilst always functional, was always a step behind the more premium feel of other brands. Now, things have improved of late with their more recent release, the Soundcore Motion X600, which featured no visible plastics. And I'm also pleased to see them sticking to that same blueprint with this Motion 300. So we've got a rugged pill-shaped portable speaker with a speckled silicon back, and we've got feet both on the base here and here, depending on how you lay it down. We've got a metallic grille on the front, which feels nice and premium to tie it all together. Now, I've got to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the big Soundcore logo on the front, and I would have preferred some more subtle bits of branding, but I guess you can't have it all. And to be honest, if it's a top performer in some other categories, then I'm definitely willing to look past it. Now, there's your USB-C charging port tucked away down here, all of your controls on top that are nice and tactile, so your power, Bluetooth, bass up, volume, and play pause. And the playback button also handles other functions, so two presses, skips forward a track, three presses navigates backward a track, and a long press summons your device's voice assistant. Now we've also got this detachable loop strap on the other end too, which is a nice little touch, especially if you're like me and enjoy heading out and about with a portable hook to your bag or something like that. Now there's a couple of different colorways to choose from, like Mirage Black, Frost Blue, and Fern Green, but for me, the black is definitely the pick of the bunch. Now one thing you will notice when you get your hands on this speaker is that it's a pretty weighty unit, coming in at around 0.8 kilograms. It's 0.2 kilos heavier than something like the Bose Soundlink Flex, for example, which is a little surprising considering their near identical form factors, but both are definitely light enough to chuck in your rucksack. Now, when it comes to features, this speaker has got pretty much everything that you'd expect from your out and out portables. We've got Bluetooth 5.3 connectivity with multi-device pairing, which is great, but of course, we put the Bluetooth range to the test. So guys, we're outside, we're gonna do our Bluetooth range test of the Soundcore M300. So obviously, as you can hear, we've got some music playing out of it now. We've got some tracks lined up on here. Sam's gonna walk that way, and we're gonna see how far it goes. Still good? A little bit iffy. So that is literally from one set of rugby posts to the other. So we're looking around about 100 meters or so. So if you've got any parties, you plan on using the speaker out and about, then you're gonna have absolutely no worries whatsoever about the range on this. Now, in terms of battery life, Soundcore have also stated that this one will offer up to 13 hours of playback from a single charge, just beating the Bose Soundlink Flex's 12 hours in this department. Now, don't get me wrong, there are portables out there like the, uh, the Emberton 2 that can offer up to 30 hours of playback. But for me, 13 hours is plenty good enough for my day-to-day -day listening. Now, I've been using this over the past week or so and at moderate volumes, and it's definitely exceeded the quoted 13 hours. So battery life is one thing, but it's also important to know just how long it takes to go from zero to 100% charge. So this speaker died earlier this morning. So we put it on charge around about 9.15 and just before 11 o'clock, it was fully charged. So going from 0 to 100 in around about two hours or so, or just under. So really impressive. It means you don't have to do any pre-planning. And you know, if you want to take this away for a day with you, then literally two hours worth of charging and you get a full battery on that, which is really impressive. Now, the Motion 300 can also be used as a mic for your cause, which is a nice plus on a portable speaker. Now, the quality wasn't the best that we've tested, but it was clear enough to get the job done, so 
definitely no complaints there. Now, like I said earlier, when it comes to portable speakers, we really like to put them through their paces. Now, as an out and out portable, the Motion 300 has got to be ready to withstand all the knocks and drops that come as standard when you're listening on the go. So Sam, this one's over to you, mate. Don't mind if I do. That's right guys, Sam here, and I've been tasked with really putting this one to the test. Now, initial thoughts, I'm actually pretty excited. It seems pretty sturdy and it's IPX7 rated, so it should hold up in our infamous dunk test. But before we go do that, let's go throw it around a bit and see how it fares, shall we? So there we have it, grass, gravel, concrete, water, this thing literally took it all in its stride. There's a slight scuff there and a tiny dent there, but apart from that, this thing, you know, really, really took it all and none of that affected the sound quality whatsoever. So yeah, that's a win in my books. This thing has really, really impressed me. Right, what about sound then? Well, this is where things get pretty interesting with the Motion 300, as Soundcore have designed this speaker specifically to deliver a more immersive experience with stereo sound. We've got dual full range drivers to handle both the left and right channels and combined give us 30 watts, while dual passive radiators also help with that bass response. Now we do have Aldac wireless high res support on this speaker, which is a great addition, and in theory means you could get up to three times higher resolution than that of traditional Bluetooth speakers you can expect better clarity, depth, and an all round more enjoyable listening experience when listening to high res audio formats. But again, we need to remember the context of this being a compact portable speaker. So I'm not expecting audio file quality by some considerable way. Plus, I don't see this as the type of thing that you're gonna be sitting down with having a critical listening session with, but it's nice to know that you've got that sort of support nonetheless, and I'll be testing it out in a bit. Now, a big thing with this speaker is its flexibility when it comes to orientation. So in order to sound good, regardless of whether you've got it standing up on its side, you've got it laid flat, or hanging vertically, Soundcore have also created something that they call Smart Tune Technology, which essentially switches between three adaptive EQ modes automatically to optimize your audio accordingly. So each mode offers a slightly different performance. So stood up should be your balanced stereo mode. You've then got lead flat, which should essentially boost your bass performance and mid high frequencies. And finally, you've got your suspension mode, which should give you an overall gain across the board and increase the volume slightly so you can hear a little better if it's hooked onto a bag behind you or something like that. Right then, that just about wraps up all things spec wise. So I think it's time that I give you guys a listen for yourselves. Now, usual disclaimer, as always, what you hear over YouTube isn't gonna be exactly what I'm hearing right here in our studio, but this should give you a decent idea of what you can expect from this speaker. For me personally, I've been pleasantly surprised with the audio performance of this one. The stereo imaging went a long way to creating a really immersive and wide performance. And I feel like the overall breadth of the soundstage went far beyond this speaker's compact form factor. Now we've taken it out and about in lots of different settings, testing it with different tracks and genres. And I think in comparison to the mono portable speakers that we're used to seeing in this sort of bracket, this one does a really good job of delivering as close to a room filling performance as you're gonna get from a portable speaker of this size. Separation is good, vocals are nice and clean and stand apart from the rest of the track and the bass is decent. Now it probably could benefit from a little bit more bite in the lower volumes, but when you crank it up, you've got plenty of low end performance to pack a punch. Obviously, you've also got a couple of options to improve the sound performance with this speaker. So the bass up feature makes a subtle improvement to the low end performance, as expected, adding a little bit of a pickup in the bass and mid bass elements of the music. Now I think from listening with this mode, both on and off and switching between the two, I'd probably recommend keeping it on for the majority of your listening as it does make the overall performance feel fuller. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you've also got those adaptive EQ features and these go a long way to altering performance too. Now, to be honest, they seem to do exactly what they say on the tin. I think lead down flat was probably my favorite sound profile, but obviously that's purely personal preference. However, I've got to say that there was a slightly staticky sound when I changed the speaker's orientation. Now, obviously this may just come with the territory of adapting the EQ whilst listening and no, it's not the end of the world, but if we're properly nitpicking, it's probably the only part of the 
audio performance that shows its price tag. So it is worth just bearing in mind. You've also got a nine band pro EQ adjustment via the app, as well as a couple of different presets to choose from, including Soundcore Signature, which is the default setting, extra bass, voice, and balance, which all do what they say. Now, in terms of my overall opinion, I think if this was a speaker with a higher price tag, I could sit here and critique it more. But when you put it into the context of its price point, it performs really well. The Bose Soundlink Flex is one of our all-time favorite portable speaker options, sitting between the 100 to 150 pound price point, depending on what sort of offers are about. Now, it's obviously a more expensive option, but nobody can deny that these two are very similar speakers, and I've been desperate to see how they actually compare head to head. So for those of you that don't know, the Soundlink Flex is a mono speaker with one custom design driver and two small passive radiators, capable of delivering 20 watts of power. So slightly less than the Motion 300, but let's give you guys a listen first. Now, obviously, it's not quite the same as hearing them in person, but for me, straight away, I think the biggest thing that I got from testing is just how close they are in terms of performance. And genuinely, this might be one of the toughest comparisons I've had to make in a long while. The Soundcore, I think, has the better bass, and the high end was really impressive too, pushing close to the Bose in that department. Now, I also think that the Motion 300 also went ever so slightly louder, which I know will be a plus for some of you guys out there. Now, that being said, even though the Bose is a mono speaker, it does this very well, and that's probably why even though the stereo presentation of the Soundcore is impressive, it didn't run away with this comparison. For me, the Bose had better mid-range and performed better at lower listening volumes. Now, personally, I preferred some tracks on the Bose and others on the Soundcore, but overall, I do think that there were more tracks that I enjoyed on the Soundlink Flex, but only just. So you do have some nice features on the Bose, like audible cues when you click certain buttons, it's lighter, and I do prefer the overall slightly cleaner design as well. But when you do then factor in the cost of both, it's harder to justify why you'd pay the extra for the Soundlink Flex. Now, of course, there will be some people out there who like Bose for the brand they are, but if you're concerned about budget or if you're looking to maximize it, then trust me, the smart money is gonna be spent with the Motion 300. So, what are our final thoughts then? Well, I think this one is actually pretty straightforward for once. If you're in the market for a new portable Bluetooth speaker, there might well be better options out there for you, but you will be paying more for them. Now, if you're okay with that, then brilliant. But having listened to loads of other portables over the years, in my opinion, this is one of the best options in that 50 to 100 pound bracket and 100% one to consider. Now, they've really pushed what's possible at this price point and are putting pressure on other premium brands to see what sort of package that they are offering for their price points. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.